Nope, nope. There you go, you got it. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And you know, this RC hobby, it can be more than just a hobby. It can become a lot more than the hobby. You can actually use it to do work, son. But we were given a great opportunity. We were. We were approached by a nice young man named Jeremy Davis. Yes. And he was a cinematographer for a local film that was being shot in Alliance, which is close to where we are. Yeah, and, and I don't know much about filmmaking. This is called a short film. Yes. Probably because it's short. Yeah. That's exactly right, Josh. The film is called The Invitation, and it's a, it's a timepiece. It's like set in the 1930s or 40s. Yeah. So they had like some cool cars from back then. Well, one car, actually. Yeah, they were supposed to have more than one. It was a really cool experience. Beautiful location, too. Yeah, we went to the Glamorgan Castle. Glamorgan Castle. This Glamorgan is, Castle and Alliance. It's about five miles from my home. Drive by it almost every day. What a cool castle. They have a, they have a moat. And no a, moat. There's a dragon. No in dragons. There. But it's a castle, it's pretty cool though. And we actually showed up a good hour early. Yeah. We were there before anyone else was and we, we used that time to get the multi-rotors in the air tweaked out and uh, trying to get some passes over the castle because we weren't sure what they were gonna want us to do. We had a crash. Yes. Who would have thought? Into the bricks. Crash. I think everything's okay. I think all we did was uh, broke a piece of wood, and uh, we'll get that fixed and get back up in the air. I'm starting next, right by this tree, and I'm just doing a, like a straight left and revealing the castle. From behind the tree? Yeah. Very nice. I'm gonna do a little diagonal shot. All right, we're here with Ryan Galbraith, and Ryan, you are the director yes. of this movie, right? Yes. And what's the title of the movie again? This is The Invitation. So it is a mystery film set in the 1920s. So we are at this beautiful castle right now, which is going to be our exterior to the location of the manor. Now there's a lot of things I know and a lot of things I don't know. The things I know are predominantly about things that fly. I don't know anything about movie making. There's a lot of yeah. people with really funny names that did funny things. Yeah, like cinematographer? Yeah, I can't even spell that. All right, we're here with Jeremy Davis. And Jeremy, uh, what is your job in this picture? I am the cinematographer. Our other cinematography type person I'm sharing responsibilities with is Jacob Keaton. He's going under the title of director of photography. Okay. Those two terms are interchangeable. Mm -hmm. So we are sharing the responsibilities of shot listing, creating the full look of the film. Of course, we work with Ryan yeah. to get his vision. And uh, so as he tells us what he wants, we translate that into what you're gonna see on screen. This is a pretty simple setup. We only have three angles. Okay. Um, it's complex in the, the number of extras that we have, and of course doing the aerials with you guys, but okay. you take care of that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. We're just responsible for getting good footage, and if we're not, then we'll be blacklisted. Chad was flying the with the hexacopter, yes. the helicopter in the hex formation, yeah. and, and we, it was really cool to see Jeremy, who was the cinematographer, giving Chad direction. That was kind of funny, wasn't it? It was nice to see somebody telling him what to do for a change. Uh, so come a little to the left. All right, so move left, like yes. so. That's good, and okay. then you'll come down over the roof. All right, towards the car. This might be tricky. Let's try it. So the, the scene that we were shooting was all these party guests are entering into the castle and we want, they wanted to get some big sweeping shots of the people walking in. So once we finally got everything good, we had done our we had done our shot a few times and yep. now the actors are all warmed up and ready to go. Yep. We we're, ready, we're ready to do it. We're in the middle of the shot that was going to be beep, beep, a shot. Beep, 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 beep. Faulty battery. Uh, we're fine for the shot. Hold on, I'm bailing. Yeah, yeah bring it down. 
So, so yeah, the battery beeper thingy was going off, but there was such a short capacity in that it made it to the ground at an accelerated rate. I hit the grass. It got to um, the ground. It just got to the ground at a faster rate than it should have, and it broke. It the, crashed. It broke the gimbal. It broke. No, I don't think it broke the props, but it broke the skid. It was a flyable. Yeah. So we had to do the rest with uh, actually Josh's Batbow yes. and Tricopter, which didn't have a gimbal on it, did it? It didn't have a gimbal. It was a fixed camera. But you know what? It's the Batbone. I love the Batbone. It has the uh, APM 2.5 in it. Very stable. Great with loiter. All the good features that the Hex had. But David flew it. And he whined about it. He, he says, it's horrible. And, and you know what the funny thing was? is I flew this before. We got the shots with Glamorgan Castle. I was flying over Glamorgan Castle. It was so you, you don't insult it. another man's multi-rotor, man. That right? was the problem. Don't do it. That's the problem. That's the issue. Yeah. I and found this solid. on his tricopter. It's a brown zip tie, mm -hmm. and it was not attached to anything. That makes it a fashion statement mm -hmm. in my book, and it's kind of awkward. Really, says the one with brown Crocs on with striped <laughs> socks. <laughs> you know, he rises to the occasion. Yeah. He adapted. He overcame, and he got the shot. At least we think so. Rolling and action. Cut. So we are done. We are done. They're still shooting a couple more shots. But you know what? We learned a lot of amazing things too. Lighting. Timing, like the pace of where people walk, matching their, you know, the multi-rotor to the pace of people. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that you're juggling. Yeah, like, boy, I have a lot of respect for Ryan and all these guys putting this stuff together. He was really doing a great job, too. Yeah. And uh, communication, I think, is a real key to success. I know it's how critical it was for timing yeah. uh, for David to get at the right spot in the reputation. And it's not just with one person, it's with the whole group of people that yeah. cover it properly. So, right. what a great learning experience. Absolutely. All right, well, I want to thank you guys for watching. We thank you for sponsoring Flight Tests. Every time you go to our website and you buy something there you're helping us do what we do give us money to buy stuff yeah and also thank to feed you. our families yeah Important. they're hungry and starving Not eat really. a lot yeah. all right let's go all right, buy we'll see stuff. you later see you later That's how you stop the two back red ones.